welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. <laughs> Crazy because I do things like this. I wait till I do a video and be like, oh, I need to put on more chapstick. <laughs> the troll because I consider myself a troll. A cute troll when I put on face paint for the troll. Nonetheless, this video is I just realized I have another allergy. And it is to carmine. I am allergic to nickel, so anytime I hit pan on a pressed powder product, or even if it's even if it's a cream product, if it's in a pan, every time I hit pan, my face breaks out. And when I looked into this, and this was years ago when I realized this, and I'm just like, I am allergic to nickel. Because I'm like, why are, why every time when I hit pan, my face breaks out? It's not an issue with eyeshadows because I never ever hit pan on eyeshadows. Um, and when it dips enough in the middle, then I just stop using it. And by that time, I'm bored with the palette anyway, because it takes me so long to get through eyeshadow palettes. But I had a set, I showed it in my entire makeup collection video. And Soft Glam Palette came with the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I think it was for like 49 bucks. I had Soft Glam in the past. I really liked it. After about six months or so, I got tired of it because all the looks were, were soft soft glam they're supposed to be soft but i did like all the looks that i did with it and i did really like this palette and so when i saw that these together as a set for 49 dollars, which is really the price of just one on its own and i heard good things about modern renaissance and i said you know what i'm going to get it and so i got the set i tried this the other day and the video is already uploaded of when i did a look with this and later that day my eyelids were so irritated and just itchy and my eyes were dried out and my eyes started tearing and I'm just like what is it and I was wondering like is it this palette I only used and I can look in here and tell where the dips are two three four five six shades from in this palette and I was going to try it again but I was sitting here um with some b-rated movie on 2b I was watching on TV and I said, let me just look and see, like, did anybody else have problems with this palette? And I did see one comment that it irritated her eyes really bad, blah, blah, blah. But it was only just that one and I didn't go through all of them because there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So then I just did a Google search on ABH Modern Renaissance. Renaissance palette irritated my eyes and came across a Reddit article where this person was like, oh my gosh, da, 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 da. And someone says, you're probably allergic to the carmine. And other people were like, yeah, da, 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 da. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. And almost every shade in here has carmine in it. Carmine is a color additive. And so I'm just like, I am not going to be able to continue using this palette. And it made me remember when I had purchased during a sale last year, I believe, at Sephora. Um, and also the Viseart website, or I think it was Muse Beauty Pro website. And they have Viseart palettes on sale. And I heard a lot about the Dark Mattes palette. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I want to try Viseart. And so I purchased the Dark Mattes palette from the, from Sephora's website. And I purchased the Neutral Milieu mattes. I'm sorry, I'm backwards. Natural Mattes Milieu palette. I purchased this from Sephora. And I used the dark mattes. My eyes were irritated. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I love how the shadows blended. I love the colors. I love the looks I did. But every time I used it, my eyes became so irritated and itchy and teary. And my eyes would burn. And I'm just like, what is it with this palette? I said, there's something in this palette. There's something in these shadows that I'm allergic to or having a negative reaction to. And I don't know what it is. And so because I did purchase it from the Sephora website, I was able to return it. And the Natural Matte Milieu palette, I was hesitant to try it because I said if I try it and I'm allergic, then I'm going to feel weird about, you know, giving it away. Um, and on the Vizier site, once you <laughs> use, use a product, you cannot return it. So I was just like, okay, even though it was on sale, it nor it's normally $80. I think I paid like 60 something for it, which is still a lot. But I was just like, oh, like, did I just waste, you know, almost $70? So I broke down and I tried it. No reaction whatsoever with the natural milieu 
I'm sorry, natural matte milieu palette. I have no issue with this palette at all. And so I'm realizing with some of the darker shades, if they have carmine in it <laughs> to add color to that pigment or to that shadow, I am not going to be able to wear it. And it makes me a little sad because the fallout in this palette was horrendous. And after using um, the Natasha Denona Biba palette, I love, <laughs> I love the texture in that palette. I love every color in that palette. I love every single look I did with that palette. There's just something with the formula. And I think it's the creamy matte formula or the cream to powder formula. That entire palette, I love every single shade in there. And so after using that and having used this one, using something like this just wasn't going to cut it anyway. So it's one of those things where you find something you really love and everything else is just like, huh? However, I did like the textures of the texture of this and I did like the look I created and I didn't have a problem blending. I didn't have a problem with it looking muddy. Even though on camera it looked like all the same shade, but when I looked in my mirror and when I took pictures, I was able to see the different colors that I did apply on my lid. And, um, yeah, so I found that I had another re another allergic reaction. So I'm allergic to not only nickel and cobalt, but also carmine. And so I'm really going to have to start looking at ingredients <laughs> before spending money on eyeshadow palettes. And so that's all this video is about. So if you're having eye irritation when you use a certain palette or um, certain tones of certain shadows, it might be the carmine. Yeah. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share um, something new I found out about myself today with makeup. <laughs> so now I'm trying to figure out what to do with this one. Like, do I... Try to find it at home or do I just throw it away? I don't feel like I wasted money because as I said, it came with the soft glam and, uh, and the set was only $49. And so I still with the soft glam, it, it, it's $42 on its own, I think anyway. So I don't feel like I lost money. I'm just really disappointed um, that I'm not able to use the Modern Renaissance palette because honestly, I wouldn't have repurchased the soft glam on its own. When I saw it as a set, I'm like, oh, that's a good deal. Ooh, I get the soft glam that I knew I liked from before and I get to try Modern Renaissance which the reviews were mostly good. That's the only reason I would not have purchased soft glam on its own. And so I'm wondering like do I want to <laughs> even keep the soft glam? <laughs> because I do have the Beba palette which I like from Natasha Denona. I have I have the Lila palette or Lila palette however, however you pronounce it from Natasha Denona which I absolutely love as well. <laughs> The Viseart, I am in love with this as well. I still really enjoy the Fenty Moroccan Spice palette. The Pretty Vulgar palette that I had from before, um, Phoenix Rising. I really like this one, and it expired um, before I got to like use it a lot. And so I haven't opened this one yet, but I really enjoyed that palette too. And so I'm going to just need to stick with what I know, and because I have palettes, I know that I love and or loved in the past do i even want to crack this open again so that's i don't know and i already have palettes to give away <laughs> which i had mentioned in a previous video i have the original um naked palette from urban decay to give away i have a um, urban decay born to run palette to give away and i also have a fenty moroccan palette to give away and so i don't know and the only thing if I give this away is that there is no packaging because it came in like this huge box thing. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I have not opened it yet. I have not used that one yet. Um, but let me know your experiences with the Modern Renaissance palette. If you had the, or still have the Viseart Dark Mattes palette, let me know your experience with that. If you're learning that you're having or that you have allergies to certain ingredients, you know, let me know that too. Just, you know, share experiences. Let's have a discussion below. And also, what are your thoughts on the Natasha Denona palettes? I know I know some say they're hit or miss. Um, there's two that I purchased I ended up getting rid of, which was the Sunset and the Sunrise palette. I think I do still have Sunset, but I'm just, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna end up getting rid of that because, yeah. Uh, 
the looks are looking the same how they did with the sunrise palette the looks were all looking the same so i was just like yeah what's the point because i could do those looks with other palettes and not have to make myself love it anyway that is it for this video thank you for watching and you will see me in the next video bye